All right, how's everyone doing tonight? Just got some 3P on. Today we're gonna get started off with our fader bore brush and soap commander. I believe it's called Respect. Yeah, it's a lime. It's Sunday evening, I just finished off my work week. It's the 10th of September. This stuff loads up real good. The 9th was my now four-year-old's birthday. This stuff loads up real good. I might have to go back to it because so much of the lather gets caught up in my beard. So yeah, he just turned four. And I've been thinking about what kind of soaps and stuff I want to do in these videos. I was looking through there. I don't take much, does it? Still a little dry. Oh yeah, there it is. And all but three soaps are greater than four years old. And those three soaps are all Noble Otter. So I didn't want to look like a Noble Otter shield, even though I'd say half the uh, soaps in my collection are Barrister and Man. So I went through, I went to Marriott Razors and looked through, I'm going to say almost all of the soaps and stuff that you could purchase through them. Can't even see what's going on, can you? There are a bunch of brands either I didn't know about before or might have just come on the scene the past few years and it's hard when you're looking at like five, six hundred products to go through. And then as you go through and look at the ingredients list, I was just blown away. Some of these companies have wow. <laughs> Ingredients that you just, I never knew you'd do. Put in soap. And then, uh, there's not many ingredients that I'm looking for to exclude a soap, but one of them happens to be palm oil. And you wouldn't believe how many entire brands were just excluded because that palm oil. All right, so we're gonna go with one of these grab bag deals again. And we have the, I believe this is pre-2013 R41. All right, so that's out of the view. Okay, there was Two, band, two brands in particular that I was super excited about. And I just, I couldn't purchase from them. All right, here we go. Which one's, which one are you thinking? Huh? Let's go with one that we haven't had before. Here, my laser. That sounds like something I've never used before. Sounds sharp, but it has no edges but it's a razor, so it has to have an edge. Triple coated edges. It's gotta be good. Right, we'll fiddle with putting them back in the package here in just a minute. All right. So yeah, back on to it. I don't wanna name any brands because there were just too many to talk about and Everyone has their reason why they like and don't like certain ingredients, but uh, 
pummel has just led to massive deforestation in Southeast Asia and I believe South America. I get the way off base on that one. And it's not because of the small artisan brands that are using it. It's because the large brands like Procter and Gamble and you know, all those that are using it for their detergents, for their hand soaps, for their everything. Because the palmatic acid that's like 50% of palm oil makes very stable lather. So I understand the reasoning behind it. And it's not their fault that companies that have other interests in mind use it for that reason. But I just, you know, I'm, I've made my own soap and I know that it's just not particularly necessary. That is a smooth blade. You know, I've had some luck with these blades. Of course, none of the data that's been gained from it is worth too awful much. Because I'm using, in, what, three separate razors? So there's no control, really. It'd have to be the same razor. Same soap, same everything. Yet again, this really angle on this is really shortening everything. Go directly into the phone. Well, it's already dried out. That was the kids looking for one of the cats. This soap is super slick. And this soap has a high amount of uh, shea butter in it. Gives the face feel really nice. All right, y'all got to let me know. This is a different angle that I'm trying. So I essentially have a shoe box on top of a shoe box so that you're more eye level with me. essentially decided that I will shave all this off and back to the maggot razors thing and off the soapbox about palm oil. Um, I did find a few brands that I use and I kind of broke my rule. I bought a sample that uses palmatic acid and you know it I looked up well, to see where the, how it was synthesized. And of course there was very ambiguous answers about where, what source it comes from. It says you can get it from tallow, you can get it from animal fats. And it's about 25% of beef tallow. And, uh, but it's 50% of palm oil. So why would you use something that's less rich to get a more pure product with more work? I don't know, it doesn't make sense. So I essentially did go against that. So that's probably kind of hypocritical, but I wanted to try, try it. And it's essentially to uh, smell the scent and then try and do it myself on my own. I liked the entire line of the, uh, I don't know, I'm not Italian or anything, so I might butcher the pronunciation of it, but I think it's Abete, Abete 
Alamantia. Uh, yeah, I bet the Alamantia. And uh, they had a couple of really awesome soaps. Scent, from what I can read. And, uh, I do get one of the samples. But I've never had a sterling soap. I bought a sterling soap. Uh, what else? Mammoth shave. You know, I said uh, most of my soaps are from Barrister and Man, and as I was going through all their, all of the company's scents, I was like, man, these all smell like, look like they smell like Barrister and Man scents. And then of course the one that I eventually dropped on was one that they actually collaborated with Barrister and Man. So again, I just can't get away from some things. Let's see. I've already done that. And I got a declaration shape scent and uh, to move here I can I think it's called eleven. The brand is called eleven. Never heard of that brand before, but uh, I forgot to give it a go. Uh, I didn't think Magic Razors would have it on their site if it wasn't good. So we'll be getting to try some new things. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. You can probably hear the kids stampeding around the house here. That's Apollo hollering for his mom there. I didn't tell you what this smelled like. Lime and patchouli. The lime is not a sweet lime and the patchouli comes through as more of a light patchouli. It's not a dark, uh, heavy patchouli. It's more of a very top note, nasal, I don't want to say acrid, but uh, it's a sharp patchouli, not a dark, lingering one. some uh, correspondence with a uh, guy on YouTube here. I think, goes, I think his channel is Mikey Shaves or Michael Shaves. Could be off on that one too, but I talked to him for a while. He said it came back with a Duck Dynasty beard. Well, it's going to be coming off. Oh, back to it. Yes. Uh, I will eventually be doing a shave with myself and uh, Apollo. Um, he wants to be in a, in a video. He will be three in January, so he's, you know, two and three quarter. Probably have like a disclaimer, and we're going to be using some vintage Aqua Velva Frost Lime. Kind of pulls it all together. Got the 3P with the menthol. Got the lime and patchouli, and then you got, you know, 
lime, menthol, and the essence. I mean, you can smell the 70s. It's pretty awesome. Let that dry off a little bit. Pretty good shape. And of course, we're gonna do our normal post shave, 444. After this runs out, I don't know what I'm gonna use. I've used this for so long. So yeah, one of the shaves soon, the beard will be coming off because it feels weird only shaving just, you know, like 15% of my face for these videos. And uh, Paulo wants to be in a video and Manny brought up that he might not react too well. And that's true. So one of the soaps that I bought, it's kind of themed that way. And it's not in the way that you'd imagine. One of the brands that I wanted to get was Moon. Uh, it's you know, it gonna have some type of cute title with that. But uh, couldn't do that. For reasons that we talked about earlier. Not every day you get to do. And that's not a nick or a cut down there. I've had like an ingrown hair or something, but it's just been really taking its time. Oh yeah, that's a weird spot. There you go. Times you've seen that in a shave video, someone thought they were done, didn't check. That's what you call. <laughs> Being sloppy with your post. All right. <laughs> Round two with the aftershave. Still sounds terrible, but I can't go against the grain right there on my like trachea area. It just it gets inflamed just with the with the grain and across the grain pass, which is down and well kind of down and out and then kind of up because it grows like that like an l or a j all right so we will have a guest visitor and we'll have a couple new soaps here soon and we'll be taking off this uh beard I think. All right, just to round it up here, finish it off, 444. We'll use this Laser Ultra triple coated blade. Subcommander Respect, nice. One thing about this, they are from Alabama, but it's for Ardmore, which is 
a border town between Alabama and Tennessee, and it's actually exit one in Tennessee, and I couldn't tell you what it was in Alabama, but I'm sure if you called them up, they'd be able to tell you. Our Thater Boar, and our pre-2013 Moolah R41. That's it for tonight. Thank y'all for hanging out with me, and this is an extra long video, so y'all take care. Talk to you soon. Bye.